Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and I'm here to give you the overview of the GTX 980 Ti Hall of Fame l 2 GOC Edition. Uh, you can see there by the box, and that's this card here. Uh, another one of the limited edition uh, Galaxy cards that was released uh, late last year. And it's been doing me good. I'm going to tell you my experience, uh, some of the specs of it, and like the future, I guess, of this kind of card. Alright, so the specs, uh, it is the exact same as the last card, the uh, LN2 edition. It uses the same 960 amp 19 phase power delivery system, you know, extreme for liquid nitrogen, hence the name. Uh, it uses the exact same cooler. I think it may have a slightly different uh, metal shroud thing on top of the fans, but that's about it. The fans themselves are exactly the same. Uh, two 90 millimeters and then one... Actually, two 80s and then one 90 millimeter. That's it. Uh, it uses the same super fat uh, cooler. I'm going to show you with this motherboard here that it, it is exactly the same. And there we go. You can see it's going to take up multiple slots. More than two. So be sure you have a big enough case and uh, enough length because this is quite a long card as well. Uh, I guess that comes as standard with all of these custom 980 Ti's. So yeah. Um, this is a much taller card compared to the previous one. You can see here, shut up dogs, that the PCB comes way up above the top of the cooler here. So make sure you have a tall enough case, or wide enough case in this case as well. Uh, this is uh, compared similarly to the Kingpin or classified uh, EVGA cards. Alright. Let's get this out of here. And back to here. So, since this is all the same as the uh, old LN2 edition, what's new here? Well, as you probably saw before, the power connectors are now on the top instead of on the back's uh, very back edge. Now this makes it a lot easier to mount inside a case. It doesn't add an extra inch at the back, making it really hard to fit in, into any uh, modern case. Uh, it still has the turbo boost button on the front that forces the fans to maximum speed and forces the clock speed to go up to maximum boost. So this is what you want to do uh, when doing benchmarks uh, for basic stuff because the fans are up so high and so loud it actually isn't really recommended. But you have the option. Um, the main difference between this one and the standard LN2 edition is that this has no back plate. And because of that, uh, it actually has a very, very flimsy PCB. You can see how easily it's bending here. Just a little bit of pressure can get it to bend. Uh, I really don't like that because mounted inside a case it does have a lot of sag and I am afraid for the PCB. It's still really straight right now, but maybe a year down the future, it'll be permanently bent. So that's one thing you would need to watch out for if you have this card. Uh, the other difference from the standard LN2 edition is that this has some dip switches on the back here. Right here. Let's see if I can zoom in good enough to get you a good view of it. There we go. I think that's good. It would be good if the camera would focus. Come on, camera, you can do it. There we go. So right here, there's some dip switches. Uh, they disable all power, 
thermal, and one other limit. They disable all limits, pretty much, so that you can get the absolute maximum performance out of this, out of this card when using liquid nitrogen. And that is by far the coolest thing, and that's what makes this uh, the GRC edition, because this was used at the uh, Galaxy Overclocking carna Carnival. And I think it was used for qualifiers, and now they have the actual carnival coming up uh, this year, and that has a brand new 980 Ti coming out, or it's actually already out, but not really overseas yet, or I don't know if it even will come overseas like this one did. Uh, but anyways, that is the 980 Ti Hall of Fame GOC edition. It's not under the LN2 lineup like this card and the last card I took a look at were. But, uh, you know me, I will try to get one of those GOC cards and compare it to the LN2 editions. And see how it does, if it's even worth your time and money. Because that's what I do. I waste my money so you don't have to. What am I, the computer card nostalgia critic? I don't know. Uh, but I guess that's going to be it for this uh, overview. It still has all the same ports as the standard 980, 980 Ti and all that stuff. So, uh, yep, that will be it. If you enjoyed this video, then please go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course subscribe. Thanks, Gamboya. I will see you in the next video.